good day from anywhere you're watching me from this is chemistry hangout if you are seeing this video you are a chemistry teacher you're a chemistry educator you intend teaching chemistry you just graduated as chemistry student then this video is for you i've actually spoken with a lot of chemistry teachers and you know some of the problem fixed by many chem by some chemistry teachers are what is tackled in this video this video has been out for a while now for some months now but i decided to make it private okay to allow chemistry educators to actually assess it and see how resourceful the content is so i've spoken with a whole lot of chemistry teachers i saw this is the same problem a whole lot of people complain to me about and that is why i see it as a sense of responsibility i feel that you know i feel that sense of responsibility to actually release it to the public so it's not for everybody anyway but if you feel it is beneficial to you then you need to pay attention to this information this series of video what will you learn in this video you are going to learn how to prepare the molarity of acid from concentrated solutions of course you know some of those acids they are in their concentrated form you need to know how to prepare them maybe they tell you to prepare 0.1 molar two molar like you know why instructions neco instructions will always give us what to prepare so you're going to learn that in the video you learn how to prepare base from their solid form you you learn how to determine the concentration of acid giving their volume okay you are going to learn how to prepare indicators different indicators phenotaphylin starch indicator metal orange you're going to learn it you're going to learn how to weigh accurately too because it is very important all these are what we have put together in that very particular video it has been out for a while now a more than 500 chemistry teachers has gotten access to it and i can say the reviews are mind-blowing so you're going to be learning all this it's it's a seven series video where you are going to be learning all this and it is going to be learned practically yes it is a video it is a practical video that all those things are demonstrated the aim is for us to grow together and actually learn together so you are going to be learning all this in the video it's going to be a practical video a lot of people have had access to the video and it is i feel fulfilling when i saw you know their reviews of this very particular content so you are going to be learning all this in the video of course you are going to be learning all this you prepare molarity of acid of giving base you measure accurately you prepare different indicators for titration okay these are what you are going to be learning in the video and you will agree with me you know the accuracy of all these things matters in our practicals because when you prepare these things wrongly definitely the end point will not be correct and you know for for us to become mastery in our subject matter for us to become mastery in our area of specialization we need these skills so you are just graduating you just started teaching chemistry you intend teaching chemistry you are a chemistry education student you are studying chemistry in nc and we are in as much as it is chemistry inclined you will be needing this yes you are going to be needing this video a lot of people have had access to it and i want it to reach a whole lot of people so that we can grow together we can learn together you know we can we can ask questions my dm will be open okay you can ask questions then i'll contribute in the little way that i can it is not only what you are going to be learning there you learn this too how to interpret work and neco confidential reports that we guarantee a one for your student if you are just watching my channel or you are new to this channel you can check previous you know previous videos i've uploaded i am always fond of you know trying to do my best in exams like neco wired to guarantee success for a student so i predict the question so and if you have checked most of my predictions are correct in fact a lot of educators chemistry educators have reached out to me some even felt i used to see the question before exam but it is not so i use a technique to actually do that and that's what i've been doing every year and it has been working so we are going to be learning it you, you predict wire questions neco questions especially their practicals when you understand how to prepare those reagents you know where they are coming from and you are going to learn how to fill wire can neco report from two very important i made that mistake when i was you know i started teaching chemistry started teaching chemistry a new teacher you know i didn't even know there is a report okay you know the the 
the story that year was very awkward and i don't want us to make that mistake if you have done everything in our centers we have taught those students the report form too is very very important and there are ways we feel it we're going to be learning it i show that practically too how i interpret why question i show that practically too how i interpret neco questions i show that practically too so the the content is just videos it's seven series videos and we're going to be learning all this on the video so for teachers that have you know had access to it i want to I want to thank them for their word of encouragement, for their comments. It is motivating. And I want you, if you feel this content is for you, if you feel you are going to benefit from this very particular content, all these things that I, that I have stated here, you felt is going to help you as a chemistry teacher. And I tell you, it is going to help you. If you don't know how to do all this, then you need to know that for us to be a mastery of our subject. And you know, teaching students practically is one of the best ways to teach science subjects. Yes. Like I've been teaching chemistry for years and I can affirm that teaching students with practical will go a long way to help those students. So we as teachers, we have to equip ourselves, we have to fortify ourselves practically, understand the rudiments of, you know, how to prepare laboratory reagents and it gives us this confidence in that subject. So we're going to be learning all this in the video. It's, it's, it's a wonderful video and I'm, I'm aiming at reaching a whole lot of chemistry teachers. I want us to grow as colleagues. I want us to grow as individual. I want, I want us to grow as a resource person. And that's the reason for this video. So these are just samples of what I did in the video here. I was explaining practically how to prepare, you know, any molarity given to you from concentrated acid. I was explaining it here practically in this very particular video. And I had to do something here too. You know, I had to give a shortcut to state all the concentrations of some chemicals we use in school, especially acid, so that even if yours don't have it, maybe because it has spilled off, you can use this shortcut to prepare that reagent. So that's what I was actually explaining here practically. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And if you check these two, you can see here I'm talking about how to prepare 0.1 molar ACF from the concentrated form. It's a wonderful video. And look at this too. I did it practically. Here, if you look at it, I was doing it practically. You know, calculating it, doing it practically. How we need to actually do them for accuracy. You can see, doing it practically. They asked us to prepare this. How do we go about this? How do we go about this? How do we understand what volume to use? How do we understand what mass to use? Which formula are we going to use to get the correct preparation so it's, it's a wonderful video and if you feel that you know you need this video then you you need to to message me you need to message me so that you you can you can get the video so yet you can see i'm uh, explaining them practically i'm explaining them practically so but i will put my number here for people that do not have my number anyway but you can check the comment box section too i'll put a pin chat there for you to message me directly if you feel this video is for you so if you feel it's for you my number is there if you look at this one here you know i was explaining how i predict why a question it's a wonderful this is one of the techniques i use as a chemistry teacher i've used this for years and it has been working and that's what i'm explaining here okay that's what i'm explaining here how i predict why a question using 2001 you know 2001 confidential reports given to schools and if you check that here the views of that video add about 180 plus as i speak now yes it has around 180 plus views because of how accurate that question seemed to be you understand a lot of people commented i was like no but that's how i do it so that's what i'm explaining here too explaining how to fill the confidential report here using a confidential report given to schools that's what i'm explaining here you can see how i'm filling it i'm deleting some volume that is not needed i got my average title here in the report form how it's supposed to look like that's what i'm explaining here so it's 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 a practical video you will like it all everything done here is done practically it's done practically you are going to like it and that's what i'm doing here just explaining how we fill report form so that you don't be like me that year when i started teaching chemistry okay so you don't make that mistake it might prove costly to that center if you do not feel it very well or you do not even feel it at all 
so that's what i'm explaining here so you have to delete some volume you know maybe you use 20 centimeter cube pipette you have to delete it and that's what i'm explaining here and here practically i was explaining if you are giving the volume of any acid you can see the calculations here how do you calculate it you can see calculate it correctly how do you use the dilution factor formula when you are preparing standard solutions you can see it. i'm doing them practically you know the dilution factor that formula how do you input it that's what i'm doing here so it's a wonderful video and if you're a chemistry instructor you're going to need this you're going to need this okay so that's what i'm explaining here it's it's wonderful and for for this place you know i was explaining how to measure accurately like some schools still don't use the digital balance yes you know sometimes even power supply may be a problem in some schools so how do we use the triple beam balance to measure accurately and if you use this it will be as if you have used the digital balance i was explaining the techniques of using the triple beam balance here you know i was comparing the result with what the digital balance will give me to see how you know how i can measure here look at it as explaining how to determine the error the error here the zero error if there's a zero error that's what i'm explaining here and for people that have gotten the video look at their comments okay these are comments of of teachers that have gotten the videos because some has gotten the videos months back so these are comments of teachers that have gotten the videos okay these are few comments i extracted from people that have gotten the video and, and how it has actually helped them so and i know the contents are rich all to the glory of god we give god the glory the content are what we help us as a teacher if you feel that you need these things you need to add this to the skill you have as chemistry teacher is going to help us and these are comments you know from different chemistry tutors reviews comments from different teachers as regards how it has helped them you can see these are comments a lot of comments i have a lot of comments sent to me but i just have to extract some to see you know to show us how it has actually helped people that have gotten it so if you need it you, i will put my number on the on the screen so that you can actually message me if you need this a comment if this comment really humbled me i will learn some teachers did a video testimony let's listen to them I'm Sam from Imo State. so this videos on the solutions to some chemistry problems by chemistry hangout is so educative i'm a benefactor if you want to gain mastery in chemistry have an edge in chemistry help the students and the school where you teach this is the video for you God bless you. Hello, good day from wherever you are listening to me. This is Titi Lopez from Fashion State. If you are a chemistry teacher and you are preparing your student for the coming SSE exams, when I mean SSE exams, I mean both like and NECO, then this video from Chemistry Hangout is the perfect thing you need to successfully conduct practicals for your students. In this video, you learn everything you need to know about practicals, even if you've never conducted in chemistry practicals before. For me personally, this video has been an eye opener because I've really learned a lot of things. You learn how to prepare reagents from from scratch, even if you've not done it before. You learn how to predict chemistry practical work for work and echo accurately, like accurately. Even if, if it's not hundred percent, there to be ninety five to hundred percent. You learn how to predict it accurately and every other thing you need to know about chemistry practicals, even if you are know it. So if I will, I'll just jump on this because for me personally, I can't wait to take my students down the aisle of making their smooth A's because this video has given me confidence. And another sweet thing about getting this video is the fact that you'll be able to ask chemistry and out as many questions as possible on areas that are not clear to you. So trust me, you are not alone. You are not alone in this. So... If you feel that that video will be beneficial to you, this is my number on the screen. You can chat me or you check the comment box section. I'm going to, there is a pink chat there in the comment box section. There's a pink chat there. Just click that link and you chat me directly via my number. So just click that link in the comment box section. There's a pink chat there so that you can chat me directly if you need it. You like the video. You like the video. The aim is to make us grow as teachers and as colleagues for us to learn together i love you i love you i love you thank you thank you okay good day my co 
educators. I want to actually talk about that, you know, ad you just saw now. If you teach chemistry, you are a chemistry educator, I tell you, you need those skills. These are the basic practical skills you need as chemistry educators. I've spoken to a lot of chemistry teacher, chemistry educator, and I see that most of all the skills are what is actually missing. So, and that is the reason why this video is actually put together. So, you are going to learn a lot of things in the video. You are going to learn a lot of things in the video. How to prepare molarity of acid from concentrated solutions. How to prepare the molarity of base from solid form. How to measure accurately. How I actually predict, you know, why questions. If you have checked my channel, you see most of my predictions are 80% to 90% correct. Okay, that is the techniques I use for doing that. So you teach chemistry, you're a chemistry educator, you need this basic skill, especially when you deal with secondary school students, you will need this video. So a lot of people has reached out to me and we are aiming at reaching out to a whole lot of chemistry educators to help us grow as a person and to be able to have mastery of the subject matter, mastery of the subject we teach and, you know, to actually arouse the interest of the students using practical to teach them so you will know this video and even aside that you know every year like that if your school is approved you'll bear me witness that an instruction will always be given every year for you to prepare reagents and the accuracy of what you have prepared matters that is what will determine maybe the practical will be successful or will not be so all these things are what we are going to be learning in the video and you are going to join our community too yeah we have a community where we encourage ourselves where we learn together we ask questions okay if you have any questions we ask the aim is just for us to grow as chemistry educators so i'll be waiting for you the inside my number is here is on the screen already my number is on the screen already so if you have any question you can whatsapp me if you need it you can you know whatsapp me you dm me for the video it's just at the token i tell you and it's really worth it for a whole lot of chemistry teachers to actually you know affirmed to the video they have watched it means it is resourceful you like it i'll tell you so i'll be waiting for you in the inside i love you guys stay chemically active thank you so much i love you guys